Hi and welcome to the rave.com. I'm Allie here with Before You Exit. Welcome to the rave, guys. Hey, hey. It's your second time here once again with All Time Low. How does it feel to be back? So cool. Thanks for having us. This yeah. venue is awesome. There's like so many stages. I don't know where to go. So. <laughs> yeah, um, this is probably the biggest show we've ever played. This is the biggest show we've ever played. It will be. It is. We haven't played it, it yet. Oh, yeah. Soon to come. It will yeah, be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're actually we're actually, we're we're actually all in diapers right now because we're so nervous. Yeah, um, I'm kind of sorry. I wasn't scared. supposed to say that. They told me not to tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a pull up because I'm older. <laughs> yeah. Nervous for four thousand people. Oh, that, does that help? A little. Exact numbers. Oh, that help at all? Bit, yeah. For me, yeah. it's an everyday. Thing. The number just kind of screams in our ears. Like just four thousand, like I probably uh, never played for that. Getting on stage and being too scared and walk off. So. <laughs> That's probably what's going to happen. Hopefully not, though. But don't, don't do right. that. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, why don't you guys just tell me how you got started and how you got to where you are today? Braden. Braden. Okay. Well, um, I knew Thomas from my school, and Connor went to my church. And since Riley and Connor are brothers, um, they obviously knew each other pretty well. Um, so I I got them together just. Thomas and Connor in seventh grade. We started playing together. We had um, an original bassist, but then after a year, we added Riley instead. Um, completed the band. So. All right. Braden always tells that story because he's best at it. <laughs> yeah. He started the band kind <laughs> he of. He practices so. it. A I lot. see. In the mirror. In All the mirror. Every he goes to bed. All right. Every night. Um, so you guys are not recently, but kind of recently with a management company. Um, how did that come to be? Um, that was pretty cool. It was. Actually, um, he came to one of our shows, and uh, right after that, it was kind of, I don't know, it kind of happened right there, but not really. We didn't see him for, like, two months after that, and we're at um, a local show. We're like, hey, we're like, Keith, what are you doing here? And, uh, and Keith like, is all-time Lowe's manager, just oh, yeah, to clear that up. Like, that's Keith, what are you doing here? And that's it, his name, Keith. It just kind of moved from there. I don't even know. It was cool. But, um, and then that's how we've, got, we've gotten on some of the tours and stuff, and, or the all-time Lowe's tour, some of the tours. Like we've <laughs> one tour. <laughs> one tour. That's how we've gotten on all these tours. But we're going to have to cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So a little over a month ago, you guys released your EP, Letting Go, onto iTunes. Um, why don't you just tell me about the making of that? Um, the making of that was really interesting because we had to go to like a bunch of different places. We started off in one studio, and that didn't work out. So we ended up going up actually here to Wisconsin about an hour away. And um, we recorded it in a barn, which was like really funny. It was like in the top of a barn, and it was like a little tiny studio. Sounds pretty funny, but it, it, it worked. It, it, yeah, it, worked. it really worked. And then we went back um, to Orlando, and we did vocals there, and then we had to like go through like three different studios to finally get it finished. It was crazy. It was it was a, it was a mess, but, but it, it turned out good. I think so. It was for um, what it was. Yeah, yeah, for what it was. Definitely. All right. Well, who or what are your inspirations for your music? Oh, man. <laughs> I think that's like all of ours. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely a big one. It's not like the same style, but lyrically, kind of, I don't know if that's just where I get inspiration is him, and then there's a bunch of the bands that are in our genre. He's John Mayer is brilliant, just so right. Yeah. We each have like certain bands that have inspired all of us, but um, I mean, all these genre bands like All Time Low and all the bands that we've been hanging out with, I guess. And Yellow Card's a big one that. too that, um, like, amazing to be playing with him so it's kind of crazy but well, i think we've known them since like fifth grade maybe Covering fourth it's weird, like, oh, like fourth oh, grade fourth started. grade and it's weird that we're actually playing with them now yeah. so that's yeah. pretty sweet that's exciting so you guys have a large following of fans on facebook and twitter what do you guys do to keep your fan base expanding um lately we've been doing uh youtube covers and i'm not sure if like anybody's seen them or anything but uh We've been doing like a lot of. I think it was just our parents that have seen them so far. Our parents have seen them so far, and um, they're our biggest fans. And uh, no, we've been doing like a lot of uh, like the popular top twenty kind of songs and stuff, and then we kind of do our like own acoustic version of it, and that's really been helping a lot. Like we've been getting a lot of um, people watching our videos. And that's stuff. where all the exposure goes. Yeah, it's so back back. It all roots back to YouTube because everyone watches YouTube and. YouTube it's nice is the way that there. a lot of people are getting famous now, just like all those YouTube stars and stuff. But that's not really what we're going for. But we're just just for kind of like like Rebecca Black. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to. We're hoping to be the next athlete, Rebecca Black. Yeah, but I kind of I want to be in her band if she ever tours. So I mean, if she's watching <laughs> this, call me up. Well, I don't know. She's been getting death threats. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I, you know, I, the drummer yeah. isn't. The drummer. Yeah, the, band, the band doesn't. I mean, all that's right. Her, that's it. That works. <laughs> So, during your show, what do you guys do to keep the crowd on their feet and having a good time? Um, well, I can't do anything. I sit. 
So I this is all up to them. I run smiles. around the stage. I sit and smile and move a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We, we try to move as much as we can and have it. It's really about just having a good time and stuff on stage. And we actually, if, if we're having a good time, everyone else will be. You have to, and you know, you always have to look, you always have to look happy Hopefully. and excited because if you're, if, even if you're having like a bad day and whatnot, you know, just if you go up there like moping and sobbing, like, whoa, my dog just died. You know, even that's bad. You know, but like, you got to go up there and put, you got to put a smile on. And, you know, just, and if you are having a bad let the, day, let the people know that you're having a, you know, you're having a good time up there. So, you know, they'll feel safe and. No, no. I think what's I think if you have a bad day, I think it gets better by playing. What? If you're having a bad day when you get on stage, I think it's better. It's not like you have to fake it. I think it's like I don't know. Okay, I have something to look forward to. Maybe. I, don't know. I think what's been working best for us lately is we've been paying everyone to move. Like we just pay each person in the crowd, like and then they all jump around and stuff. Like yeah, that's it a good works tactic. Really that's well it. for mm -hmm. us. It's a little bit ex expensive and stuff. Though. Yeah, but. It can be, but it like, it's really bad this time. Like, We're like really in debt for 4,000 kids, $10. I don't know, but it works. It's really good. <laughs> All right. Well, what's next for before you exit? Um, let's see. We're writing right yeah. now or again already, even though it's like really soon, but we're already like starting again to start writing and stuff, but with different people and kind of working on like new music and stuff, trying to get some new material. Even though we kind of just released something, we want to do like a little bit more and take it further, write some new Instead songs. Instead of just like a little EP kind of thing, just yeah. kind of actually progress and but, um, change it up some. Yeah, that's definitely next. And then after that, hopefully we'll do some like tours and stuff. Um, really hoping, I mean, I'm sure I know we're going to do some tours, but like uh, probably like in the fall area or, or like maybe late summer. I'm not sure. Hopefully summer. Yeah, hopefully summer. I don't want to wait till the fall. We don't want to sit. Especially when bands set these the kind of summer. deadlines and in interviews, it ends up you end up watching it back like a year later. Like, wow, that was totally wrong. We ended up taking way longer. Yeah. yeah. So it'll I hope it's not like longer, that. But who knows? Well, last time All Time Low was here, they said their album was 95% done, and it's not even released yet. So yeah, yeah, you guys are good. Exactly. You guys are good. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us tonight before your thank show. You so much. Yeah, Definitely. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, have a great time tonight. All righty. Bye, everyone thank watching. Awesome. Bye. Bye. Thanks we for watching. Wave. <laughs> and thank you for watching therave.com. Be sure to check out Before You Exit's EP, Letting Go. We'll see you soon on therave.com.